My younger brother held a carved wooden Buddha head. I held a smaller one. We were in a museum wondering where to put the Buddhas. My grandma pointed to a large Buddha with shelves encircling the base. We placed them there. This is mine and Kiva's room. Wow. This is our bed. I sleep on the top. Kiva sleeps on the bottom. I don't have trouble falling asleep. He never took an afternoon nap. Even when he was really young, he was constantly on the go. But when you see New Yorkers sleep in the subway, there's something defenseless about them. Well, sometimes he gets scared. My friend recommended me to a pediatrician. I not only have apnea, I have a bladder condition that's not treatable. Combined, yeah, I'm, I'm screwed to the wall. That you, you really can't see anywhere else in the city. And I like that, in a way, you see more of people's personality if they're asleep than if they're just staring straight ahead or reading or inside of themselves. He put you on Benadryl, a uh, tranquilizer. You're continually fatigued, and you don't, you're not getting refreshing sleep. You're not getting enough REM sleep, but you don't actually know that. We took them away when we remembered a museum display case facing the window like the one at the San Francisco Asian Art Museum. Shadows and monsters. What are you scared about, Aisha, at, at night? God, nothing. When you're sleep deprived, it affects your energy level. So I was drawing people that were asleep because they're the easiest. They don't move. And the subway's always moving. You never know when people are going to get up and get off or whatever. But you always at least get a stop without people moving if they're asleep. The quality of the sleep in the CPAP room improves that. Show me the monsters. Here. What? One's right here. What kind of monster is that? It's a big-eyed monster. <laughs> we get scared of it at night. We have to hide it under the blankets. You yeah, don't see it. The way I handle it, one, I lead an absolutely privileged life, so I have no stress. The demands that are placed on myself are incredibly limited but it was something to slow you down. And at times, I think it, uh, you did take a nap with it. So in a way, it was uh, peaceful or let me rest. Drawing people in general in the subways has made me be able to catch them faster. And I, actually, it's good exercise too, if they do get up and leave, to capture them after they're gone is really good drawing exercise. I like it when someone's asleep for a bunch of stops and you can put in more detail and more value and finish it. With the apnea before the CPAP, it affects your breathing. You'll jar yourself awake. Two, I get up around five. I then go work out before work. Then at lunch hour, I work out again. I've never had a cup of coffee in my life. Ugh, Tully's has a no fat chocolate ice drink. It has two shots. When it's really bad, I'll add a sleep thing, a uh, Starbucks double shot. Uh, so I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was about to place the head there until a group of children walked past me, obstructing me from the shelving. I looked at a placard and read that the small objects on display were from the Lowell and Pat Ng family collection. A museum guard said he had something to clean the Buddha I was holding. We were led into a large cavernous room about the size of a large gym. Before we could walk further, we were told that we would have to wear protective clothing. Stuart easily found clothing his size. I looked on the shelves and found slippers in size nine and a half and 10, but no size 9. Before I could wonder what to do, a woman draped me with a cloak. I looked to a door in the distance before I woke up. 